Lots of good stuff here, so head on over, give us a look, a follow. Mm. Yeah, you like those, Skylar? I love those, man. You know, dude, if I was going with, if if I stay with 20s, okay, I might mm. go to the stinking brights on my configuration. The 20 inch brights with L cap. Have you, have you looked at that? No, it, I, <laughs> I think I think bright wheels look better with darker colors, and I, I like in general I like darker black wheels better with lighter colors. I right. mean it's the it's the contrast. So yeah, yeah. I just love those wheels. It looks good. Oh, we gotta start seeing more R1s's here. We will. Um, let's end today, maybe, with just coming back with us. It's 2022. Can you guys, off the top of your head, just name the top Rivian stories of 2021? And I don't mean our episodes. I mean Rivian, the stories about Rivian, Rivian's best moments. It could also include some of our best personal moments as Rivian fans and Rivian Stories hosts. Take it away. Ooh. <laughs> Go ahead, Jimmy. Uh, I'm going to have, can I have bad ones too? Yeah. Um, <laughs> yep. We can have the top and the bottom. Yep. Uh, I'll start with the bad and I'll end with the good. So bad, uh, the delays. Um, mm. And then just uh, the lack of communication, poor communication, whatever you want to call it, um, in the missed timelines leading up to, um, I, I pretty much, I guess it would have been right up to Thanksgiving when, uh, launch editions got contacted. Um, and you know, that, that segues right into my, probably right into my highlight of actually getting, uh, a uh, more dialed down delivery window mm -hmm. um, and to take nothing away from our first mile drive and actually actually going to normal which was epic and meeting more people and and seeing uh familiar faces um but uh now that we have a, a drilled down delivery window in my at least for my 2021 that was that was my highlight um Oh, yeah. <clears throat> so, you know what? I'm going to follow Jimmy's lead and talk about low lights. <clears throat> and for me, that was selling my daily driver, mm. my Jeep Grand Cherokee, back in May when we were still told that R1S deliveries were on track to start in August. Mm. So, I thought that I was going to be without it for a few months, not a year. Mm -hmm. um, yep. so that that was definitely low light for me and it does you know dovetail into the lack of you know communication and you know properly setting customer expectations but highlights without a doubt i mean for me it was absolutely the first mile experience getting to meet the people see and drive the vehicles um you know touring the factory i mm -hmm. i had never done something like that that was absolutely amazing true sure. um let's see ipo and first vehicle rolling off the line mm -hmm. incredibly exciting both of those and then yeah i mean i think i think that sums it up pretty good for me it does you took a few on my list darn it because first drive is impossible to top for us personally, just as far as yeah. what we got to experience. And anyone who did, uh, well, that was first mile, uh, to be clear, because there was first drive before, which that was a great moment for Rivian when they brought Correct. in the Chosen. And yeah. that was a really big uplift for the Rivian community. We needed that a ton. Because if, yeah. if I had a low light, it would just be the repetitive long stints of not here so <laughs> yeah, oh. yeah. yeah um 
But wow, that's when we were able to um, do some interviews and we really got a lot of momentum, not just as a channel or whatever you want to call this, but just as a pre-order community, it was a big lift. And then <clears throat> the first mile, which came after, was huge for the community for sure and for us personally. But I had written down IPO and first delivery. To me, uh, Rivian in general, my favorite moment for Rivian in general is actually the first delivery in that speech from RJ and some of those pictures of the kids being there and all that. That was super cool for me. Yeah. But then kind of a last minute change over in the RS site, which behind the scenes, y'all, that was just like kind of last minute after like being fed up with our old site anyway, and just having that land really well was cool. And, and finally getting some of the traction just with day-to-day -day conversation in the site's been, been fun to see. And because I feel like we finally have a spot that's um, really gonna make it doable and fun to share the adventure going forward in 2022, which that's what this is all about. Like we're not trying to build a big audience and see you can get diverse. We're trying to share the adventure with other true fans and owners, you know, so I, I think a great spot to do that. I totally agree. And, and that's actually a good one, Kyle, because that didn't happen literally until December, the last mm -hmm. month of the year. Yeah. And it just made it like, I I was critical of the old Rivian story site oh. and the new one and the app and the whole deal. It's made it so much better, so much more fun. And I feel like the all the conversation has really, you know, really taken off over there as a result of that change. Yeah, yes. it feels like we had a community, but now the place where actually people were talking like a room to have this community and it has felt like a really great group for sure we knew we had yeah. it but it just was like okay finally and it's been phenomenal uh a lot of fun yeah. great people for sure yeah and you know what hold on i <laughs> i thought of another one i yep. mean so uh, this one's gonna be kind of two-part but it is related so the the rivian community itself has actually been the biggest highlight for me. I mean, yeah. meeting all of the other pre-order holders, talking to them online, sometimes live. Like we also did those live streams, which have been a blast. Mm -hmm. So, um, but yeah, really being a part of and helping build the community, uh, I think has, has been absolutely amazing. It's a huge honor. Yeah, for sure. <sighs> Any other miscellaneous highlights or lowlights? Predictions of highlights and lowlights for 2022. Wow. That's what we ended on. Predictions, uh, highlights prediction. and lowlights. All right, guys, thanks for watching. This is To Be Continued, so please do subscribe so you don't miss the next one. In the meantime, please do join us over at rivianstories.com. This really is a phenomenal community. It's the community for true Rivian fans and owners. You'll find a ton of great interaction and information, and you can even pick yourself up a t-shirt or sweatshirt. Thanks.